A Central Florida native continues to break barriers, crossing the finish line of something many, like myself, would never even attempt, the Boston Marathon. That's right. Last year, Chris Nickich made history as the first person with Down syndrome to complete an Ironman race. New 6's Carolina Cardona reports Chris is not done yet. Chris Nickich, the first athlete with Down syndrome to complete an Ironman triathlon. And that's kind of tough. How long did it take you to run the marathon? Six hours. Chris Nikic continues to run towards success. What mile are you on? We're almost to seven. Almost seven. to seven already? On Monday, he completed the Boston Marathon with a time of six hours, one minute, and 22 seconds. I became the first person with Down syndrome to complete an Ironman, and also the first person with Down syndrome to complete a uh, Boston Marathon. It was amazing just watching the excitement and all the people. And he really got a chance to meet a lot of people, get a lot of hugs. How much time did you spend stopping and hugging everybody? About an hour. <laughs> I know that could an hour. Oh, so, so you could have actually finished earlier, but because you stopped to hug people along the way, it took you a little bit more. For him, it's not about finishing in a certain amount of time. Six hours was a good target. It's about having fun and about being out there so people can see that individuals with Down syndrome um, belong here as well. For the family, being part of these events goes beyond the finish line. It's about inclusion. He's opening doors for other people like him. For instance, there were no other individuals, as far as we know, out of 20,000 participants who have an intellectual disability here. And so we think that needs to change. In November of 2020, Chris completed an Ironman triathlon race, becoming the first person with Down syndrome to complete the competition under 17 hours. His dad says the goal is to inspire others like Chris and change the narrative of who can participate in athlete events. At least in this country, there's six and a half million people with intellectual disabilities, 200 million around the world. And I think it's time for them to have their own category and be included in these big events. So what's the plan now? What's next? New York. New York Marathon in three and a half weeks. You ready for the Big Apple? Yeah. <laughs> you excited? Yeah. So now today was a rest day for Chris, but tomorrow they restart with his training for the New York City Marathon, which is in November. I asked Chris how they celebrated this new accomplishment, and he told me that they went to Chipotle and then an <laughs> Irish pub for some beers and also dancing. His father said they plan on talking with organizers of both the Boston and New York City marathons so they can open a category for people with disabilities. He is so wonderful, so inspirational. Just love him, Carolyn. I like Thank how you. they leave an extra hour for hugs. Just hugs. <laughs> that takes an hour. That's, That's very good stuff. important. Yeah. Yes.